Alrighty guys, welcome to another episode of my let's play of the full version of the crew. And in this episode we're gonna be customizing possibly the dumbest car in this game. Well not the dumbest, the most riced out car in this game, and that is the Hummer. The Hummer? What the heck? The Ford F-150 Raptor. And it, it's really, really stupid, this thing. In perf spec. Come on, just taking a little drink. Wow. Yeah, it's got a lot of stupid body kits to this thing. And it kind of makes me question what the... What, that's like a cow catcher. It's like a snowplow on a train right there for you. It's ridiculous. And then there's a stock bumper right there. But I'm not going to go stock because this thing looks ridiculous. So it's time to make it look ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I'm not going to put that cow catcher on there. It's, in fact, too ridiculous for this thing. That's like a hu- there's a humongous, um, whatchamacallit. I forgot what that was called. Fail. It had a humongous... What should we call it? I forgot what it's called. I feel like an idiot right now. It had a huge... I'm trying to think of the word what it is. Uh, intercooler. It had a huge intercooler in, in one of the bumpers. No fenders. Side skirts. We're gonna keep them ridiculous. The mirrors. Holy crap. Oh, by the way, those mirrors are basically there because it's going to be a circuit spec version of the F-150, which is freaking ridiculous. I should have put a carbon fiber hood on this thing because it's a ridiculous car. Anyway, it deserves one. And it needs a ridiculous uh, blower on the front. And it needs a ridiculous wing on the back. The wing I'm kind of fine with. Looks kind of cool. But yeah. Of course, I'm going to decide on a sticker for this thing. Something that will be appropriate for it. The deer looks kind of cool, actually. Just make it look as ridiculous as possible. I should have put that dragon on there, because it's a Japanese dragon. And it doesn't really suit this car. That jellyfish looks kind of cool. I think I actually put that on my street spec version of the of my Raptor. I actually went with that. That one was a kind of... That one suit this, suited this thing a lot. Made it look a bit more... Interesting, I guess you could say. But yeah, go with that. Interior. Put something... I should have put something stupid on it. I should have made it yellow. Shouldn't have made it... S yeah, that's it. <laughs> that kind of yellow carbon. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with that. Maybe. That... Hmm... Entirely white on the inside. Poop brown. No. Yeah, it'd take a while sometimes to decide on something, and I finally decided on that. So yeah, colors, not much interesting besides that. Not much interesting, yeah, sure, that was proper English right there for you. Not really. And of course, actually... I paused the recording and went back because I realized I forgot to ch change the rims to put them into something ridiculous. And so yeah, I decided to do a two-color paint on this thing because it's dumb. And I set it on matte and metallic. That I think I believe that's actually a glitch with this game that you're not supposed to be able to put two different types of paints on this car. But you know what? It's kind of cool to be able to do that. And that's essentially the same color as the body. That one color over there. The stock color. Red and blue. Sure, great idea. There we go. Looks good. Lil. Looks absolutely perfect. And so yeah, there it is. Made it dumb, but it's a dumb car anyway never gonna use this thing ever. I just got this thing for collection purposes. So yeah. Sorry. And I just bumped a fan over there. Back there you just saw that. Train! I thought oh, the train was actually kind of close, but no, it wasn't at all. Yeah. 
I guess. Oh yeah, I actually go to the Hoover Dam with this thing. Drive this thing to the Hoover Dam. Just find a random point in Maine and just start driving. I don't know, I guess I'm starting to like it a little bit more now that I'm looking at it in this video right now. I kind of didn't really look at this car very much when I first got it in this game. And so, yeah, now I'm kind of liking it. I mean, I don't really like this car at all. I mean, the circuit spec variant, I'm going to get the circuit spec variant anyway. I'm probably not going to get it on video. I'm just going to buy it just for collection-wise, just for collection purposes. But, yeah. It's an okay car. The Ford Focus RS is actually ow. That's the first time I've ever seen me crash on video. I know it's got a couple other aspects to this thing that make that remind me of the uh, the street spec variant. The street spec variant had the little lights in the lower portion of the bumper down low. And I think am I sports steering? No, I'm not. This thing freaking drifts like a mofo. But yeah, it doesn't drift as well as the uh, other car. I will keep mentioning this car that I was talking about in the last episode, but when I did the ramp, if you watched that last episode, basically I found a really, really good car that's fun to drive, me and High Train. High Train got it yesterday with me, and then I took mine out and I just had a blast with it. It was so much fun, and I did not mean to activate this skill. Sometimes these skills are actually kind of difficult to avoid. And there's Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls for some reason is up in Maine. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Oh yeah, there's Niagara Falls. Doesn't look terribly realistic, but close enough. I go to Niagara Falls and actually go further from Niagara Falls. Oh jeez, this thing's ugly. The most, the most ugly thing ever on planet Earth. And the lights were lagging a little bit when I was using the NOS. I used the NOS. What the heck? Hold on, my phone's saying stuff. Emergency alerts. Of course, Amber Alerts. Amber Alerts! Why are you calling me? Yeah, that's even worse if you're driving. With what with Amber Alert and that with your phone and then Amber Alert just come randomly comes on and you look to see what it is and they're like, Oh, they give you a ticket. It's like, but Amber Alert, call me! There's nothing I can do. Yeah, you can't really turn that off anyway. That's a problem. You can argue with them saying that Yeah, Amber Alert called you and you can't turn it off. So yeah, it's kind of a this is kind of a fun car. But like I said, horrible body kits. Even trying to make it look basically stock, it... You see the flare wheel arches on this thing and you're like, oh god. And I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. I just did that for lols. I wanted to see if I could do a 360, but no, didn't work out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.